we have relatively more information on how sex hormones and aging affect uh, disability worsening in MS scores, but we have uh, we don't have much data on the relationship between sex hormones and age in regards to the onset of progressive MS onset. So we recently showed that um, pregnancy is related to progressive MS onset because nulliparity uh, was associated with earlier onset of progressive MS compared to women with one or more pregnancies. And when we look at uh, menopause, we found that actually earlier premature menopause was associated with earlier onset of progressive MS uh, as well. And in regards to how sex hormones may play a role in MS management, actually it's interesting that we have limited data on that. We have small studies um, and only several studies, and they, but they provide promising results. There is a pilot study on men where they were given testosterone hormone and they found that actually they had uh, better cognitive performance and slowing in atrophy, brain atrophy rates. And there are several studies in women uh, where they received estrogen and they showed uh, improvement in cognition, they showed uh, fewer lesions, fewer enhancing lesions and also clinically uh, lower annual relapse rate in time. But of course we need uh, more information on that in the future. So as I mentioned earlier, there are several small studies that provide us promising results on how sex hormones could be used in MS management. But of course we need more information on that uh, topic. There is an ongoing study, which is a multi-center study, which looks at estriol uh, plus uh, the uh, FDA approved disease modifying treatments in MS patients. And they use estriol in uh, pregnancy uh, those levels and uh, the, their primary uh, outcome is cognition but they are also looking at uh, other classic uh, MS disability metrics. So I think once, the, once that study is completed that will provide us more information. And um, in men uh, the, the data is even more limited so for sure we need uh, studies on men and uh, looking on the, at the hormonal changes in men, also the possible effect of, for example, testosterone in MS management as an, of course, adjunct therapy. Um, and also when we focus on the reproductive milestones, we have relatively more information on reproductive milestones such as pregnancy and menopause and how they are uh, related to uh, disability uh, in the long term. But specifically, for example, puberty, about puberty we don't have much information. Of course, we know that puberty is associated with MS risk, but we don't have much information about how it affects the long-term outcomes. And finally, uh, we don't have consensus on several areas that are closely related to hormones, such as breastfeeding and the use of oral contraceptives. Uh, the results so far are contradictory in terms of how they affect the long-term disability, but uh, that's why that's another area that we need to do more research on.